Hi everyone. Today we would like to start the lecture for chapter two, which is uh, regarding the cell structure and the function. So first of all, we need to know the cell theory. Okay, the cell theory and uh, the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Okay, what is cell theory? So cell theory actually it uh, consists of several statements about the importance of cell. So there are three main statements which are known as the cell are the basic unit of structure and function in living organisms, either unicellular or, or, or multicellular organisms. Then in the cell theory, it's talk about all the organisms, like just some unicellular or multicellular organisms are composed of cells. And all the cells are come from pre-existing cells. So this is the main statement of cell theory. Then the important implication of the cell theory is say that the life is continuous because all the cells are derived okay, from a pre-existing cells. So for example here, during fertilization okay, between the male gametes and female gametes, so they form a diploid zygote. So this diploid zygote is a single cell which will undergo mitosis to produce an embryo, fetus, and so on. Okay, so this is the origin of life. So the origin of life on Earth was marked by the first cell. Okay, cell is the most fundamental unit okay, of biological life. Okay, and which can perform seven life processes. And aggregation of cell is known as a multicellular organisms, as you know. Okay. So far, what you have studied, the cells actually is the eukaryotic cells. Then the cell actually can be divided into two types, which is the prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. So prokaryotic cells, they are much smaller compared to eukaryotic cells. Okay? So prokaryotic is before nucleus, that means there is uh, no nucleus, whereas eukaryotic cells, they have the true nucleus. So from this chart, you can see that uh, the eukaryotic cell, the size is uh, bigger or larger than the prokaryotic cells. And most of the uh, examples or organisms in the prokaryotic cells, or we call a prokaryote, they are bacteria. Okay, they are bacteria. Okay, we go straight to the compare the structure of the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. So what we have studied before is this eukaryotic cell, which has a nucleus. They can see this is the ER endoplasmic reticulum. So they are organelles, several organelles. Okay. Uh, so this one is a prokaryotic cell. The example here is uh, the use bacterium. Okay. So here we can't see the structure in detail. So later we'll study it. So here we need to compare, that, but first of all, you must understand and know what is prokaryotic cell and how it looks like. Okay, prokaryotes are organisms from the domain eubacteria and the domain archaea. So these two domains, they are uh, they made up of the unicellular organisms. Then they do not have membrane and close, or we call a membrane-bound organelles, okay, or internal compartments here. Okay, so that means the lack of nucleus, the lack of coloplast, lack of mitochondrion, no lysosome, no ER, no Golgi apparatus, and so on. Okay, but they have ribosome because the ribosome is, is a non membranous uh, organelle. Then the DNA is a naked DNA in which the DNA is not associated with the histone protein. Okay, if you still remember, uh, the DNA actually in eukaryotic cells, they associate, that means they coin with the histone protein, so to form 
the chromatin. So later we'll further coin compactly to form the uh, chromosome. And then in prokaryotes, or we call it prokaryotic cells, they have cell wall, but the cell wall is the petitoglycan cell wall, not the cellular cell wall. Okay, just so we have mentioned about the domain bacteria and archaea. So this is the phylogenetic. Okay, that means uh, we can see the evolutionary trend. Okay, so this is a common ancestor. Then they come out the domain bacteria first, then after that is the archaea bacteria, and then later is the eukaryotic cell. Okay, so these two, they are known as the prokaryotic cells. And then uh, the plant, animals, fungi, protists, so they are eukaryotic cells. Okay, so this table show you the uh, a bit, okay, the summary of the prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cells. So I think this one, for example, the kingdom protista, fungi, plantae, and animalia, I think you already studied in uh, SPM. So these four kingdoms, actually, they, uh, they are categorized in the eukaryotic cell, or we call it domain eukaryon. Okay. Then uh, what we have studied last time is the bacteria. So this is the bacteria here. So RK is not in our syllabus. Okay, prokaryotic cells. Here I use a bacteria okay, as an example. So from here you see this is not the nucleus, but this is the nucleoid in which a region, uh, it is a region in which the bacterial DNA concentrates. Okay. Or they found. Then the cytoplasm. So in the cytoplasm, they have the ribosome. And then they have the plasma membrane. They have the cell wall, which is a pentoglycan cell wall. So the function of this, they are similar to the function in the eukaryotic cell that you have studied before. Then here you can see they have the pili and the flagellum. Pili is smaller, okay, they, but they have a lot. Flagellum normally uh, is longer, but uh, normally it's uh, several, either one or two. All right. So this is the structure, the basic structure of a typical bacterial cell. All right. So the function they are similar to the eukaryotic cell. Okay, for this one. Okay, and then the pili here. See this here, the sex pillars, elongated hollow appendage used to transfer the DNA to other cells. So this one is for the bacteria cells which carry out the uh, sexual reproduction in which the DNA can be, uh, especially the plasmid, it can be transferred or exchanged. Okay, this uh, fimbria is the hairline bristle that allow the adhesions to surface. Okay, they attach or adhere to the surface or the other cells. So flagellum for movement. Okay, eukaryotic cells. I think you are quite familiar with this eukaryotic cell, so I don't want to explain in detail here because later the next uh, part, subtopic you will study in detail each of these organelles and the structure and its functions. Okay, so for the example, this is the plant cell. Okay, so you already know the prokaryotic cell, so now we look at the eukaryotic cell first. Okay. Uh, the uniqueness of the pro, uh, of the eukaryotic cell is the compartmentalization. Compartmentalization that means uh, there are several regions within the cell are uh, isolated okay, by membrane. Okay, by membrane, the plasma membrane. So this one, this one is called a compartment and compartmentalization. Then the membranous compartments as well as other structure. Okay, for example, ribosome, which is uh, no membrane. Okay, they possess distinctive shape, function, and then they are called organelles. So this compartment or this region, which are isolated by the membrane, so they form an organelles, and also including the ribosome, which is no, uh, is a non membrane uh, organelle. Okay, it's a structure, but the one we also know as Organelles because you see here they process distinctive shapes which can carry out different or specific function. So that's why we call it as a 
uh, SN or manual box. So this is the importance of the eukaryotic cell, which is a compartmentalization. Okay, eukaryotic cell organization is found in the domain eukarya, as you know, which includes the protista, okay, uh, plantae, fungi, and the animalia. So all of these organisms are known as eukaryotes. Okay, eukaryotes is, ref is refers to the uh, organism where the eukaryotic cells is referred to the cell. So uh, these uh, eukaryotic cells they are larger. Okay, as just like okay, you compare the just how we already compare the with the prokaryotic cell. So they are more complex than the prokaryotic cells because of the compartmentalization. Okay, the presence of the uh, organelles and the structure. Then the genetic material, the DNA of the eukaryotic cells are con is contained in the nucleus. They are enclosed in the nucleus. And some more, the DNA is associated with histone proteins. Okay, also contain other membrane-bound organelles. Okay, for example, the chloroplast, uh, Golgi and Brenton's mitochondria, okay, which, in which the specific biochemical reactions take place. Okay, for comparisons. Okay, comparisons. For example, the prokaryotic cells you know, has no nucleus, but the eukaryotic cells that has membrane-bound nucleus. So I show you in the table form so that you are easier to understand. But when you are in the, to write in your essay answer, so you must better in the paragraph form. So to compare the two points at the same time. Okay, prokaryotic cell, uh, their DNA is a single and circular strands of DNA. They also, the DNA also is a double strand, okay, but it's only single is here is one, one chromosome, uh, one DNA only. Okay, but it's a circular strand, I mean, it's a circular form. So, but in the eukaryotic cell, it uh, has a chromosome which is linear, okay, linear, and then normally they have several chromosomes, okay, not like bacteria or prokaryotic cell, they have only single, which is one only. Then in prokaryotic cells, the DNA is not associated with the histone protein, we know as a naked DNA, but the eukaryotic cell, no, the DNA is, is associated with histone protein. And then in prokaryotic cells, there are several sporing DNA, okay, which is known as plasmid. Whereas in eukaryotic cells, they have no plasmid. So plasmid are the important uh, vector they use, especially in uh, biotechnology or the genetic engineering. Okay, so these plasmid, they are only found in bacteria. So normally they contain the uh, antibiotic resistant genes. Okay, the function actually, and also uh, no, the function actually is used to uh, normally to protect the bacterial cells okay, from the infections of virus. Okay. All right. Then the prokaryotic cell has no membrane-bound organelles. As I told you, there is uh, there are no. Goji apparatus, ER, lysosome, okay, mitochondria, and the uh, chloroplast. But the eukaryotic cell they have. Okay? And then uh, the ribosome in prokaryotic cell is 70S, which is occurred free in the cytoplasm because they have no ER, so the ribosome cannot attach to it. But in eukaryotic cell, the ribosomes are not as a larger ribosome. Okay, or which is known as the FTS ribosome, then they can occur or found in free or they bound to the ER. Okay. Uh, right, reproduction in the prokaryotic cell normally they reproduce by binary fission. Okay, then uh, no spinder form. Okay, but in eukaryotic cell, the mitosis or the meiosis, they with the spinder form. Okay, the this one is a different. So, like for example, this is uh, the bacteria, the binary fissions. Okay, the cell wall in the prokaryotic cells is composed of peptidoglycan, as you know, normally it's the glycoprotein and the protein. No, the the, the glycarbohydrate and the proteins. Okay, it's a type of this. So that's why we call it as a peptidoglycan. Okay, don't worry, the structure is not in your syllabus. And then the, in eukaryotic cells, only the plants, algae, they have the cell wall, they're made out of the cellulose, whereas the fungi, 
they contain a sound wall by spin off uh, chitin. Okay. The plasma membrane in the prokaryotic cell can carry out some critical metabolic processes. Uh, in prokaryotic cell, you can see sometimes the membrane, the plasma membrane of the prokaryotic cell, they've enfolded into the cytoplasm. So they enfolded, that means uh, the, one, the structure is called as a mesosome. Okay, mesosome. So the functions can be several, for example, to, uh, for respiration, for cellular respiration for photosynthesis and so on okay but these processes in eukaryotic cells these processes are carried out by organelles such as mitochondria and chloroplasts all right so this is also the uh, revision for the function of the structure in the prokaryotic cells okay for example here you see mesosome a plasma membrane they fold into they may it folded into endoplasm so to increase the surface area because they contain uh, they contain uh, a lot of the enzymes the enzymes are used for cellular respiration or for photosynthesis okay after we compare the prokaryotic prokaryotic cells and the eukaryotic cells now we are going to compare the typical animal and plant cells so here i just show you the simple only the summary because uh, later we'll study uh, each organelle and all the structure one by one in detail okay actually this one you already studied before in the spn so normally this is what you have studied right okay then this one this one this one, this one this one and so on okay and then uh, for Okay, so this is the plant cell. Okay, so, uh, actually the plant cell, they have no lysosome. Huh? Okay, no lysosome in the plant cell. Right here, you see, I already delete it, but the ones forget to delete it. Okay, so I think you're quite familiar with these, these two types of cell. One is the, this one is animal cell, this is the plant cell. Okay, so this is the summary. You can get it from, uh, from my notes as well. Okay, so from here you can see uh, all of these they have. Okay, you already study, you already know. Also, the sound one do not find the animal sound. Okay, and also like this one. Okay, and the plasmid reticulum, Golgi apparatus. Okay, you know this one. Okay, this one are uh, different. Okay, in vacuole, so in animal sound, they have no vacuole, or we just call it food vacuole. It's a smaller, but in plant size, bigger. So basically, they found a lot in the animal sound, and then in the uh, Protista, okay. In the protist, uh, for example, the algae and the paramecium, they have the contractile vacuole and also the subtle uh, vacuole as well. Okay, lysosome, okay, protosis, so this one you need to study, but uh, in SPN, you didn't study this one yet. Okay, lysosome do not find in the plant cell, remember, huh? remember. Okay, mitochondria, non chloroplast, so you know it's only found in the photosynthetic plant cell. Huh? Not all plants are they have the chloroplast, uh, only the photosynthetic plants are such as the palisade mesophyll, spongy mesophyll, okay, and also the gut cell they have this chloroplast. So centrio, you know, contractile vacuole, okay. Cilia and flagella normally do not found in plant cell here. Yeah. Okay, so I think uh, that's all for this. The first part of this chapter two, okay, the structure of cell or the cell structure and the functions. Okay, so I hope you can uh, go through this video. So we will discuss more in detail during in the classroom. Okay, so that's all. Thank you.